Now one tool you might find useful is the cross-referencing tool. This enables you to refer to um, different things within the document, usually figures and tables, and they may at some point need updating. For example, you know, if you if you move figures around or if you add more figures, more tables, then the C table 3.1 might need to become C table 3.2. And sometimes having to go through the whole document and then update those can be really, really long winded. It really depends how many tables and figures you have as to whether it's worth using this tool. But you can make that decision yourself. So, for example, if I wanted to refer to the figure that's on screen at the moment. So if I just go somewhere in the text beforehand. Now you would always refer to the figure or table before it came in the document. Um, that's the academic convention. So I've just put myself into a sentence uh, above there and I can just put, for example, C and a space ready to put my figure 1.2. Now, rather than typing that in, if I go to the references tab, or this is also available on the insert tab as well, you've got a cross-reference option. Now, the first time you use this, it is automatically looking at the numbered items within your document. But if you click on the drop down list and scroll towards the bottom, you can see you've got the option for figures or tables. When you select that, again, the very first time you do it, it will default to be looking at the entire caption. So we only want it to have the label and number. Choose the one I want and then click insert. You'll see that has gone into the text. It now says C figure 1.2 within the in the paragraph. And I can just close. Let me just close my bracket there. So the beauty of this is I say that you can update these. So for example, if I went and deleted the first figure in the document so that uh, I don't think it'll do it automatically, but this is going to become figure 1.1. Uh, 1. That will happen when I update as well. And this text here will also update. So to do this, first of all, if, imagine that you've, you know, you, you want to do it for the entire document. So I'm going to do Control A to select everything in the document. And then the easiest way is just to press the F9 key. When you do this, it goes through updating everything it can update. So the first thing it asks you about is the table of content. I'm not, I haven't actually changed anything with that, so I'm just going to click OK as it moves on. Then it asks about the tables of figures. And then the last thing it does, it doesn't actually ask you, is update all of the um, cross references within the document. So you can see that has now become C figure 1.1. And if I scroll down there, you can see that the, the label on the image has become figure 1.1 as well. So that can be a really useful tool if you're the sort of person who is going to be moving things around a lot in their documents or, you know, you're not quite sure how many tables and figures you're going to need. Then that can be a really useful feature to use.